In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get free Elementor templates, and Vado just released a plugin for free in the WordPress repository that has hundreds of Elementor templates that you can use with the free Elementor plugin. They also have Beaver Builder templates in the same plugin that are also free, and they're pretty awesome. They're really good looking templates. They have a common theme, so there's sets of 20 templates, for example, 20 restaurant templates and they all have different sections and different photos and different videos and you can mix and match them to create entire websites really really quickly there are a couple gotchas in the licensing and in what they track when you use this plugin and those may make you not want to use the plugin we're going to cover all of it starting right now Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can change lives. Change your life, change your client's life by providing awesome WordPress service and helping people reach their goals. And if you like the kind of thing, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and hacks and getting better at it, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out our Facebook group, link to down below in the description, where we talk about all things WordPress. So if you have any questions about WordPress, that's the place to do it, or in the comments below this video as well. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture. I'll see you there. So before we get into the templates and what they look like, let's check out the WordPress repository page because I found something that might be applicable to you, might not be, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Uh, if we scroll down here, if we look at, does the plugin use an external service for content or tracking? And the first two paragraphs are a bunch of fluffy gibberish, trying to walk around the subject or beat around the bush. And the third paragraph, it says, to help us improve the content display with our plugin, we may record the pages you viewed and the templates you've imported while using the plugin. This is nothing new. Usually you have to opt in for this kind of thing, and you may have to for this is why I haven't installed the plugin yet. We're gonna install it in just a minute. So if we opt into that, that's fine. But if they just use that tracking system without you opting in for it, it might be kind of weird. And it also applies to client sites. Anywhere this plugin would be installed, to create a website, they would likely be tracking activity with that template. Probably not no personal information or anything, but just how their templates are being used. In their terms of service, something else to keep in mind, this is linked to here, by their, their privacy statement here. Uh, that's not true. It's linked to somewhere else. Anyway, I'll put a link to this in the description down below. But the terms of service is quite short. This is it right here, that's, that's all it is. And here it says what you're permitted to do with it. And you're not allowed to redistribute the templates as a kit, even free of charge. You can't modify and distribute derivatives of the templates. You can't use the templates in automated website builders, and you cannot claim copyright ownership of any material created using the template kits. This is pretty vague. Um, I, I think you still can retain copyright on the images and words that you use on a website, but this kind of almost reads like you can't claim copyright on any material created using the template kits. Technically, if you create a page and you use a template kit to input text onto a template, technically I think that will be created by the template kit. But I'm not sure. I'm not a lawyer. But if these are problems for you, don't use this plugin. Uh, I don't think it's worth finding a lawyer just to get some uh, Beaver Builder or Elementor templates but you can decide how to proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and install this, and this works for the free versions of Elementor and Beaver Builder. So if we head over to the dashboard, before we install the plugin, you may have seen this little welcome dashboard here. You can build this using Elementor. I've got a tutorial coming up for that. It may already be published when you're watching this. It'll be in a card above or in the description down below if it is published already. If not, it'll be published very soon. So if you like this dashboard, keep your eyes peeled for that tutorial. To install this plugin with the templates, go to plugins and then add new and then search for Envato. If you don't know what Envato is, it's the company behind Theme Forest, Code Canyon, Graphic River, Audio Jungle, Video Hive, Envato Elements, Tuts Plus, and maybe some others. They, they create a whole lot of stuff. Well, they're marketplaces. They don't really create stuff. They're marketplaces where developers can create things and sell them but they're quite large. And so this template kit is created by third-party developers, not by the company itself. But if we click on install now on this guy up in the top right here, it's also in beta in the terms and conditions that we saw earlier. It says that they'll likely 
turn this into a regular working offering soon. But until then, it'll be in beta. And as long as it's in beta, they reserve to write the right to just take it off the market. So it might just disappear altogether. Once it's installed, click on Activate. Now we have a new menu item over here called Elements on the left. Click on that. And here it allows you to enter your email address. You don't have to if you don't want to, I believe. Let's try it. So here it says, I agreed to the terms, which those are the terms that say we're going to track your business. So you can either agree or not agree or get emails or not get emails. Let's see if I can not check any of these. You have to agree to have your activity tracked. Then you can continue. You don't need to enter your email or receive newsletters, but you do have to agree to the terms, which is pretty common. But it's also uncommon to have something forcibly tracked on you. Activation failed, not a valid email address. So you do need an email. So I'm going to use then click agree, then continue. Now it's activated and loading the templates. Another thing I read in the somewhere in one of these two, two pages, the repository page or the terms, is that Invato Elements is going to be expanding their offering. So they're going to have more builders that they're going to create templates for. And they may also tie it into Invato Elements, which is a paid subscription that Invato Elements has, where you can get all kinds of elements and stock footage and stuff. And I actually have a subscription to that, and it's actually pretty cool. So moving on, here we have our templates. There are 350, from what I understand. There's Elementor. There's Beaver Builder, and there's Photos and more. And that requires a subscription. So ignore that if you don't have a subscription. If you do, you can probably activate that and have more stuff in here. The nice thing is when you get a template set like this, they are consistent in their look. So the restaurant and cafe, we have a whole list of templates. We hover over them and scrolls through what they look like, but they're all styled very similarly. And so you can build out an entire website and keep the same look and, and quickly build it a website and just replace images and text and, and colors and quickly have your own design. But again, you have to comply with the terms and the terms say that you don't own the copyright. So if you're okay with that, that's okay. There's coffee shop, colorful gym, video production, education, garden maintenance, interior design, seafood restaurant, and SaaS shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and Let's see. I like the look of this restaurant one. I'm going to use this Cafe Crunch. I'm going to click on the Cafe Crunch. And now what we can do, we can either import the template, which puts it into our Elementor template library, or we can create a new page. Here it explains that as well. So you can import it to the library and you have it for future use. So you can add it to an existing page that you're working on, or you can create a brand new page. I'm going to create a new page in this case. I'm going to call it Cafe Crunch since that's the name of the template. If I could spell, that'd be great. Click on Create Page once you have a name in there. And here you can scroll down as well to see the full page. It's pretty nice. Now the page is created. We can click on this button and that'll take us to the draft of that page. That's not true. Right here will take us to the draft of that page. So click on that. Now we'll open the draft and then we can edit it using Elementor in my case. If you're using Beaver Builder, you could use Beaver Builder as well. And again, this works with the free and paid versions of both of those. So click on Edit with Elementor. And here we have our template. Nice background video playing there. And all these elements, of course, can be edited with Elementor. And these are all free widgets. They say they have plans in the future to make this available with Pro widgets. So some of the templates will require a Pro membership or a Pro license for Elementor. But right now, it's all the free ones. And you can quickly and easily adapt all of these to whatever your styling needs are. And then you can build out a really cool website really quickly using these templates. And just for the sake of completeness, I'll show you how to add this to, to your template library or add these elements to your template library. If we go back to any one of these templates, let's just take this one here and click on Import Template. And now it's importing it to our template library or Elementor template library. Now it's done working, so I'm going to assume it's in the template library. To double check, I'm going to go to Elementor, then My Templates, and indeed, here it is right here. And now I can go and add this to a page if I want. So if this wasn't a completed page, even if it is a completed page, I can go down to the little folder icon on a new section or below the sections, go to My Templates, and now I have this Coffee Shop Home 3. 
If I click on preview, I can see it. If I click on insert, I can insert it. Do you want to import the settings? Sure, why not? And now we have our template inserted right down here. Now it's important to note as well, these are very nice images that we see here. And the one we had earlier on the top of this page with a nice video in the background, normally you'd have to pay for stock images like this. But according to the terms and conditions, it says that you can use the templates to create one or more websites, and those websites can even be used for commercial purposes. So when I read that, I assume that you can use the templates, meaning you can use all the images as well that are in the templates, because if you weren't allowed to do that, it's not much of a template. If you can't use images, it's just text. So I'm pretty sure you can use the images as part of the license, free license to use this plugin on a website. So as long as you agree with the terms, which you may or may not agree with, but as long as you do, you can use these images and you can use them for, it says here, you can use templates for client projects, but the client will also be bound by the terms of this license so they can do these four things. So I've, I've said this too many times already, but if you agree with these, use the plugin. If you don't agree with them, don't use the plugin. But either way, great free templates for free Elementor and free Beaver Builder. So if you want free templates, check out this plugin. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And check out the Facebook group linked to in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.